Hey y'all, so, um, <sighs> captain's log. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, tomorrow I do my steroid shot for my, for my back. Um, cause, like I said before in another video, I had a um, car accident in October. And uh, I've been like doing therapy, like stem cell therapy or something like that. And then they found out that like through it through an MRI that um that it was a slip disc. So um I had to like get approval to go to an orthopedic doctor and then the orthopedic doctor recommended that I um get a steroid shot. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, have to have a driver, do anything for the rest of the day, no heavy lifting or anything like that. So I went ahead and did my hair. Um, so it could, you know, kind of last me cause I don't know how I'm going to feel. And then I have to like work the rest of the week and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I'll let y'all know how it goes. I'll keep y'all updated. Like maybe the day after the story shot or make like tomorrow, I'll let you know like how I feel and stuff like that. In the day after the steroid shot, I'm 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 a type of person where I'm skeptical of steroids just for the simple fact that steroid. When I hear steroid, I hear weight gain, and um, because I've dealt with weight gain in the past with steroids, dealing with my um, asthma when I was younger, into my adulthood. So um, I'm very skeptical of uh, of steroids. But you know, I asked him were there any other options, and he was like, I mean, surgery burning the nerve and I was like I don't want to do all that so let's just do a steroid shot I guess you know and he was like you know like I don't want you to get all you know scared of it because it's not like taking oral steroids like you were you know taking it for your asthma so um he was like well you know like I think this would be a good thing I think after this you shouldn't have any more problems so we'll see how it turns out so I'll let y'all know tomorrow how I feel um I'll let y'all know how I feel the day after um because they said the day after I should be fine. But we'll see. I've never done this before. So we'll see. So I'll talk. Hey, y'all. So getting ready to go for my appointment this morning. Um, you see, I took my hair down. I didn't. I separated a little bit, but <clears throat> not a lot. Uh, because I'm about to put uh, no slip uh, cap things on from Gracie's or Grace, whatever the, that company is called. Uh, so I'm aware of that because I don't know, like with the procedure, you know, like they cover your head or I don't know. So I'm gonna try to preserve my hair and um, do that. So, um, and I can't, I couldn't eat uh, six hours before the procedure and I can't drink. So I don't normally drink in the morning, but the one day, you hear me? The one day I cannot drink, I want something to drink. Of course, that's how it always works. So I'm taking a bottle of water because as soon as they let me out, I'm drinking something. Okay. Hey y'all, so I'm back from my um, get my procedure done and I have uh, I had to stay there like for a long time because my my uh, pressure was low so I had to stay there like an extra what, how long did I stay there like an extra 30 minutes well they were done around 10 o'clock what time did we leave oh watch not even on got a whole apple watch and it's not even on so uh, <laughs> So that we left? It was about 10. What time is it now? 11.01. Okay, maybe maybe 10.30. 10 Close to 10.40. So, yeah. Uh, so, now we're at First Watch getting some food. Uh, got me some grape juice. Some grape juice. And I'll probably give me a, uh, some yogurt and granola to eat or something like that, something quick. Um, but she had to give me cheeses and water to uh, for me to get my pulse up and because I was really cold, so. So yeah, we're first watching then. So 
this is what we got. I got um, a granola bowl with extra granola. And a muffin of the day, which I think is blueberry. And a side of bacon. And she got, they're working on her potatoes. They're working on the potatoes, but she got something simple. You know, she used to Denny's, y'all, so she can't handle the whole healthiness of first watch. She said it's too grainy. You better stop doing a YouTube on me. <laughs> <laughs> Bless the food. Let me follow you. Finally brought the potatoes. <laughs> hey y'all so this is just an update from <clears throat> earlier so I still don't feel anything and like as far as pain goes. I just feel like soreness in my hips as if like I did like lunges or something. I don't know, workout. So I feel uh I feel okay. My head is hurting, but I think my head was hurting because I took so long to eat. So it just hasn't gone away. <clears throat> so I've just been laying here and they told me to do like ice three times a day. So I just finished doing some ice on my back. And they say I should be fine to go back to work tomorrow. So we'll see how I feel. But I don't feel any pain now. I mean, <clears throat> the lidocaine could definitely be the reason why. But I mean, the whole reason for me going to get the shot is to not feel the pain in my back. So hopefully, you know, that fixed the problem. So, <clears throat> hey y'all, so let me tell y'all what happened to me. So, you know, I can't really drive because, you know, I'm supposed to be resting. So I ordered some food from DoorDash and I normally do Uber Eats. But for some reason, I did DoorDash this time because the restaurant that I wanted was on there. So instead of me settling, I said, I want to get what I want. Picked up the food. <clears throat> I mean, got the, ordered the food, got everything, you know, picked up or whatever and it said the dasher is leaving it at the door and i have a table outside so people can like deliver packages and stuff and food they can sit on the table and so the the ring doorbell never went off from notification that there was a motion at the door or nothing like that and i was like okay but she said she delivered the food so i went on the doordash app and talked to somebody and they said well we'll we can refund you uh, a credit or we can give it to your account. And I said, well, I would prefer it to my account. I said, but I want my food, though. Like, where is the dasher? Like, where is the girl? I said, matter of fact, I want you to, f I, want, I want my food, <clears throat> but I don't want the same dasher. And his next message was, well, I, I, I just refunded your account. So he's like, there's nothing else I could do. I could es get to the escalation team and then they can reach you at, the, at their earliest convenience. I said, but I need my food tonight though because I cannot drive. And then he said, well, I'll escalate. And he kept on saying, over, like he was on the script. I said, all right. Like he picking the messages. I said, all right. So uh, I ended up calling, Googling DoorDash customer service and I called and a guy picked up the phone saying the same thing. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. You know, I see that it's already been refunded. You know, so at this time, there's nothing else I can do. I said, no, no, no. There's something else you can do. So who's above you? And he said, well, I can send it to the escalation team. He said, but we've already refunded. And he said, but he did he offer you a chance to re-deliver? And I said, no, he didn't. He did not. He not. He never one time asked me that I want my food re-delivered. So I was like, oh, okay. So... Um, I didn't even know that was an option. So then he said, well, at this time, there's nothing we can do. And I said, sir, you're not hearing what I'm saying. I can't drive nowhere. I said, and even if I have <clears throat> $10 million in the bank, you've tied up my money that I want to use for food at this point. So you issued me a refund, but the refund is going to take a while, which means that to you, I don't have any money to be going back and forth like that. So I need my food today, tonight. 
And he was like, well, I mean, there's nothing. I said, sir, at, I said, the same person that messaged me said the same thing. I said, and it sounds like you're on a script. I said, but at some point I realized, I said, it has nothing, it's nothing against you. I said, which is why I'm not upset with you. I said, but there's somebody higher than you that can do what you say can't be done. There's somebody else higher than you. And he said, well, I'll go ahead and, and transfer you to the escalation team, but it will be a while as they, um, you know, as they, as they might have a high volume of calls. Fine. Transfer me. I was on the phone for a good, on hold for a good 30 minutes. I'm, I said, I'm not hanging up this phone. So, um, he, I finally got somebody and she said, well, the customer service rep told me what was going on and uh, we'll go ahead and um, we see that a uh, refund was already issued. She said, the ticket's already closed, so I can't issue, uh, do a re-delivery for you. She said, so you're going to have to reorder your food if you want it tonight. And I said, ma'am. And before I could finish, she said, and I'm willing to issue you a refund, a, a credit on your DoorDash for $45.35 so you can order the food back. Um, without, you know, and she said, you already have your refund back into your account. I said, okay, she was already prepared. You know what I'm saying? But it like, it's like, it took so much for me to like, and it's not that you want things free. It's just the satisfaction of like, even if you would have said, I can't issue you a refund. Okay. So you're going to see somebody else out here then? And I told him and I told her and I told the guy I was on the phone with, I told her, the guy I was messaging with, the guy I was on the phone with, and the lady that answered, the supervisor that answered the phone on the escalation team. I said, I do not want the same dasher. I said, I need you to make sure that I don't get the same dasher because you know how it works. Like I've, I've delivered food before and you have to be in a certain vicinity. And when you sit there, you wait and you wait for the order to come to you. She could be in back in this same vicinity and she could get the order again and she could steal it again. I called the girl three, four times. I called from my other phone three, four times. No answer. I messaged her and I said, you say you deliver my food, but my food is not here. She didn't say nothing. The girl straight jacked my food. And I've never, I've heard of people doing it, but I've never out of many, many years of getting food delivered. I've never had this happen to me. So imagine the inconvenience and not consi and considering the fact that I can't drive anywhere. It's not like I could be like, okay, well, I'm just going to get something else down the street or go get it myself. No, they told me to lay low. So that's what I'm going to do. And how inconvenient, like it was so frustrating, but she had already called me with a plan. Like she told me and I said, okay, well, I'm going to stay on the phone with you. I order my food. I order my food. And when I order my food, she, she said, I'm going to manually assign a dasher. I said, okay. Like it was, ugh. I said of all days, and I told her that I said, ma'am, of all days that my food could get messed up, the day that I can't, that you know, like I was advised not to go anywhere, is the day it happens. I was like, oh, you know, when you <clears throat> sometimes on a spiritual level, when you try to do things right, and you know, like if you're fat, you know, like a lot of times when you're fasting and stuff like that, you get my friend always taught me this you get distractions and stuff like that. So, and this could be something so small, and you see how you see how big it got, and like it, it you know, it got frustrating. And somebody would probably be like, you know, on a, another spiritual level, probably be like, that ain't even worth my time. But me, it was, and then, you know, maybe I didn't learn that lesson, but it was just frustrating for me today. And tomorrow, I'm gonna try better, <laughs> I'm gonna try to be a better person tomorrow, but. Yeah, I wanted y'all to know my experience on um on tonight. So I'll talk to y'all later.